Queen's first I want. You're already an Irish Derby winning trainer. You've been here, seen it and done it. Mary, lovely to see you. First, how's Peter? Peter's good. He's taken a break. Came home for a bit of fresh air and getting sorted again for Saturday. He's looking forward to the journey over? Uh, maybe not the journey, but yeah, he's really looking forward to the whole thing. He, as he said himself, this is a journey he's on and he can't believe it. He's living the dream and uh, someone said at our table, dreams do come true, so he's glad on Saturday night. I said to Connor a little bit earlier, um, he does get rather excited. Yes, he does. <laughs> Yes, it does. I'm not sure what to say about that because he's, li he's liable to say anything. But um, it's, it's, it's usually a bit of fun and, you know, that, that's him. He's as he is. That's PJ. And I think this Greyhound is, is certainly the apple of his eye. I think he's enjoying him racing. Uh, and it's got the, the buzz back into to PJ Fang in terms of his Greyhound. Yes, I think so, yeah. Um, you know, there was a, a few issues at home and uh, I suppose he's had issues himself. He maybe was taking back seat, but I think, yeah, this has really lifted him and uh, he's looking forward and uh, he's, he's absolutely trying to live, live in the whole experience, really enjoying it. He just said, pass on, best of luck to everybody. And as we know from experience, like any dog can win, so the best of luck to other connections uh, on Saturday. Fantastic. Now, I think, yeah, that's a, absolutely a round of applause and I think that's, uh, that's fantastic. And well, well done. Um, now, you have been here before. I think Paul trained, was it Tyra Laurel for you and Tyra Kieran? I think both went pretty close in, in Wimbledon derbies. Now you've won Irish derbies. What would it mean to, to win the English version? Well, I suppose you don't like to brag on occasions like this, but I suppose Peter did, you know, between Paul and himself, they won the Irish derby. And then he won, Kieran won the Scottish derby, and he came so close that time to the English derby. So I think it would mean everything to him to win the English Derby, I think it should. And finally, when, when, when is he setting off? Is, he, is it Thursday night or Friday morning? He gives himself plenty of time, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a bit unpredictable that way, so coming away we weren't too sure, possibly tomorrow, possibly Friday. But yeah, he'll be here before Saturday anyway, because the journey, of course. So. He's not a great traveller. I'm not too sure he's going to be on the helicopter with Messrs Chapman and Keith. He, he doesn't do that, does he? I don't, think, I don't think you get him on a helicopter though. He enjoys the boat and uh, that's it, he'll be here. He'll be on his chief, so. Very fantastic and pass on that. Best to, to PJ. Now, young man, kind of feel that we've watched you grow up. I think it seems many years ago when we were talking sort of Tyra Laurel and Tyra Kieran, but you're a modest gentleman, but you did win the Irish Derby. A certain Tyra McGuigan, 2010. Has Dad been on the phone asking for any tips? No, I can't take any credit for this one, no, but um, no, it's brilliant. We've, uh, we've been lucky over the years with different things going on and the derbies and stuff, but um, I have to say they've, they've done a fantastic job in this greyhound since they got him. Um, he's he's come, come on leaps and bounds. Um, what he's doing there from the second minute every night is, is crazy stuff, but um, they've done a great job in PJ and Barry as well. He's, 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 uh, he's getting used to the interviews as well, makes it brilliant, so um, no fair play to them. And a brief sort of uh, history of the dog, how did, how did, did that find him? Uh, it was about this time last year actually. Um, Coolio had ran a few times um, and had, had impressed. He, won a, he ran very well in Gawley one night in 28.62 or something. And from there on, Dad was, he tried, I think, I think it was the third attempt he actually got to buy. He actually bought the dog. Um, he bought him at Christmas time just after he ran by the Gawley. Um, and he's ran twice in Shelburne after that um, for Dad. And then and there on, then he, I suppose the, 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 the big aim was Irish Derby, but with different things going on, Toaster all of a sudden came to be a very viable option and he bought more for a try just to see how he takes the track. Kind of really wondered will he take the track, but his first try he went well, his first race he went really well. And um, look, it's been onwards and upwards from there. Um, but uh, hopefully this Saturday night now he'll, he'll do the difference again. So your dad's bred champions, and now he's spotted a champion in, in many ways. So, how do you see the race panning out? Well, it can go a thousand different ways, but I don't think it goes the way I want it to go. But... Which is? <laughs> um, I just hope the Shea gets around the bend. If he doesn't lose too much ground, he could have a, he have a big chance. But, like, you look at the likes of Keir Rockish, dad's been a such an admirer of that dog since day one. When he was running in Clamel, and when he was back in Shelburne, then again last year. 
Like he's a super dog. He's one of the best I've seen over the last few years. Um, but like that's that's one dog, you know. You, Kaya Bush was there last year, trap five. If, I think if he was in trap one last year, he could have won it. Um, then you look, you know, all, all through it, like two has been running really well. Um, he's even he went to the bin with Kaya Bush the last night. If they reversed the traps, he could have won the semi final. And then they go down to the rest, and like even Murray's act, I saw him to Kevin Boone. His dog is whatever, 16 to 1 or 20 to 1. They are two derbies, we won, we were 10 to 1. And we're the favourite of the race, and our, and our outsider won. So, like, this race is by no means too dog race, but we just hope for a clean race, and if there is, we'll have a chance. We know it's going to mean a lot to Ireland. What's it mean to go away, finally? Yeah, huge. So it's, it's great for everyone around. The signs going up, and we're on the local radio as well the last few days. So, um, that's huge. It's, it's, it, it's huge for Dad in particular. Um, I mean, like, he's put his wife and soul into these greyhounds. And I suppose because he's one Scottish and Irish, I think he'd be the first owner to come to win the three derby. So that would be a massive, massive achievement. And um, look at if it's a clean race, I think any dog has a chance. And um, hopefully, peace God, now it'll be, it'll be a good final. Best of luck, Connor. Best of luck to Mary and to the